Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Bunt Sagittaria. My name is Robin and today Sagittarius we're going to do your love reading. We're going to find out what's going on with you in the next couple weeks, what you can expect, what's coming towards you in the department of love. Let's get into this. Let's find out what you can expect. Show us what's coming towards Sagittarius in the next couple weeks. What do they need to know? What messages do they need to hear, please? Interesting. Reconciliation and deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. So someone from your past is returning. Yay. <laughs> Let's see what let's see what this is all about. Um, I had started the reading and then my dog hit the thing and my camera fell over, so I started again. But the deception came out in that one as well. Um, so someone's deceiving you, Saggy, or you're deceiving yourself, or you're deceiving somebody else. Let's find out. What's going on with Sagittarius in the next couple weeks? What do you need to tell them? Five of Pentacles of the Moon. So the Five of Pentacles, the Moon, the Nine of Swords in reverse. The, I'm doing a past, present, future, apparently, so that's what we're going to do. So the past <laughs> is the five of pentacles, the moon, the nine of swords in reverse. The present is the world in reverse. There's that seven of swords in reverse, anchoring it, eh? Who's this motherfucker, Sagittarius? What do they want? We got, oh, it's a king of swords here. Is that what that is? Or is that the queen? Hold on. Two of cups in reverse. We got the five of wands. That's the queen of swords in reverse. No, you're the queen of swords here, I think. And the two of swords in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck, Sag, ooh, get the emperor in reverse so somebody ugh. um well i'm not gonna lie this isn't the most pleasant energy that is possible so i feel like this is uh letting you know about something here so the emperor in reverse is can be a very manipulative person a very manipulative um character archetype just person um kind of like a power someone in a place of authority it could be a man or a woman but it's a strong masculine energy of really manipulation you got the card of deceit manipulation and we literally have this card that says deception so i'd like to say that i'm insightful but it's it's really just there <laughs> so let's see what's going on so the five of pentacles somebody's feeling left out is this you or is this this emperor here it could be an aries but um who is this could also be pisces the ace of wands in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse the ten of swords in reverse and the page of cups in reverse so in the recent past, I feel like they offered you some, you know, they offered you, they had a crush on you. They expressed their feelings, let you know, or, um, and either you rejected, well, basically you rejected them. <laughs> it's pretty much what happened. So somebody was interested in you, Sag, um, you weren't interested in them, or it was a relationship that you broke up with this person. So either way, you ended it with this person, you rejected this person, you made them feel pretty left out in the cold. There they are. You put up some strong boundaries, some strong walls against this person the hermit mm, some of you might have even just go to this person stop talking to them <laughs> maybe they weren't worth any words you just had to go yeah there's the boundaries again some of you did ghost this person's that oh yeah ten of swords so um yeah that person's coming back so the moon what do you want to say about the moon the lovers in reverse they're not too happy with your decision <laughs> so the fool in reverse the lovers in reverse the three of wands they've been waiting to talk to you or, like, once you made them feel like this, um, they're in their emotions. They're about to, though. They're coming here. But in the recent past, they're just trying to find the right time. Um, they're not they're not very happy with you, Sag. That's why they're coming back as the emperor in reverse. I mean, they want a new beginning, though. But the two of pentacles and the... This is interesting. So they want something with you. Let's see what kind of deceptive energy it has. Justice in reverse. Page of swords. They're still watching you. They're spying on you. Ooh. The hang... What is this? The ten they want to drop it. So this is interesting. Let's see. We'll get into the seven of swords and see exactly what the deception is. But this person's done thinking and they're ready to take action, basically. Um, with the lovers in reverse, the fool in reverse, they're and the moon here. Like I said, they could be Pisces, they could be an Aries, could be a Gemini, but I do feel like this person has been pretty stuck on you and they're kind of done with that. They've been waiting for the right time. Um and I feel like they're coming to talk to you <laughs> in the next little bit. So um, the world in reverse, the seven of swords in reverse. So the world in reverse is just their unfinished business on their half. They're not going to feel like this anymore. They're coming to talk to you. Seven of swords in reverse. What are they coming to talk about? What is this deception? What is this? Um, clarify the seven of swords because this is anchoring it. So this is the overall energy. Um, this is how you're feeling or about to feel. What do you want to say about it? What is this person coming to say? Strength in reverse. The three of cups in reverse. The nine of swords in reverse. And the chariot. The 
thought of you with someone else makes them sick. <laughs> like That's what I'm hearing. They don't like the thought of you being with someone else. They're not happy. They want to move forward with you. There's a lot of major arcana that have come up. So this is major change. This is major. But I don't know how that's deceptive. Let's see. So what they're coming to say is they're about to reveal how they feel to you. Um, they're disappointed with the situation. And again, they can't stand the thought of you with someone else. It's like, I'm not going to say what I just heard, but it's hurting them. I feel like, you know, it's hurting them. So what is this deception? Why is the emperor in reverse? Why is deception here? And what is the seven of swords? What is the deception? Talk to us, please. The sad you need to know about this person. <laughs> what are they hiding? King of cups in reverse. And the seven of pentacles in reverse. And the ten of swords in reverse. They're hiding their feelings. So I got all I got all excited thinking this was like really bad. <laughs> My apologies, Sag. Um, I don't think it is. I think they're just really upset um, that you're not working on this with them, that they want to put the past behind them and behind you. They're holding their feelings back. So they haven't told you how strongly they felt about you. Um, and they don't they don't want to they don't want to miss out on you. As I'm saying that, the card of missing out on you comes up. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. So it's not like an ugly deception. So the emperor in reverse could just be this person really um I mean they could be manipulative, but it, they could also be just upset. <laughs> and they're just feeling out of control. Their emotions are swirling, they can't control how they're feeling, they don't know what to do because you rejected them or left them or you, you you held back your cup of love, as they say in the tarot land. So it's not an ugly deception, Sag. My apologies. <laughs> but they were holding back how they were feeling. What do you want to say about the two of cups? But now you know how they feel. The two of wands in reverse. Yeah. And the wheel of fortune. They want something new with you. They want things to go in their favor. So if they're not thinking anymore, they're taking action. Two of Wands, is the, both of these twos are in reverse, and twos are about choices. So they've made the choice here. They don't like the disharmony. They don't like the way it is. They've made the choice. They want things to go in a different way with you. Oh, yeah. And uh, not so sure you're expecting that. So when you ghosted this per, for some of you, when you, I don't know, for some of you, you ghosted this person, okay? And when you did that, I'm not entirely sure you were like, it was like a real serious thing. I'm not sure you understood how... Uh, strong their feelings were for you but they're coming to tell you um so this person developed feelings much more than you did for them is what i'm also hearing and the king of wands in reverse there's going to be and there's a seven of, yeah there's going to be some drama um we see the conflict here let's see what this is there's a six of swords with the two of wands they want to move forward with you so this person's now letting you know how they feel sad so let's see what happens <laughs> how you react to this um because this is someone you totally rejected uh, the five of wands, well, obviously there's conflict, but let's see if that it's competition, what is that? Temperance in reverse. Ooh, and the knight of cups and the page of wands. That's the thing. <laughs> you have competition. There's other options for you, Sag. This ain't the only person in your energy. This isn't the only person trying to get to you. You have other people that want you. So um, maybe that's why you ghosted this person. <laughs> or I'm sorry if you're the crotch watcher. I don't mean to laugh at you. My apologies. I, sometimes I laugh. I just, I don't know. Um, yeah, you got a choice to make. I feel like you got three options here, or this is two options in you, but you definitely got a choice. We got a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's this Aries again, this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You definitely have someone or has a lot of fire in them, but you got two people trying to get your attention. You got to figure out which one to cut out. So here's you a little bit unbalanced, a little bit stressed, trying to figure out which one you take. Cause again, this is going to catch you off guard. You're not expecting that person to feel the way they did. And they could be, yeah, they could be a pipe. Well, okay. We got a water sign. We got a fire sign. So you got a water sign, fire sign here. So let's see what you do, Saji. So the Queen of Swords, this is you, um, you know, being, <laughs> figuring out who makes you happy. Yeah, whoa, figuring out who makes you happy. Which one of these options is a good option for you? Which ones do you need to cut out? Who do you have to turn your back on? Um, and the Two of Swords is indicative that in the near future, you have made your decision. What do you want to say about the Two of Swords? Queen of Wands in reverse, cause a little drama. Ooh, the Six of Wands in reverse, and then we got a King of Pentacles in reverse. Well, who the, who the fuck is this King of Pentacles? So this is you. This is the drama. Not giving attention to the drama because I feel like you made your choice. But then we have this King of Pentacles here, and so you have a third. What the fuck? Yeah, they're not giving up. So. <laughs> 
How many people did you ghost? I don't know. <laughs> Sag. I'm not sure if maybe you're online dating and you're talking to different people online. That could be an option too. But there's a lot of people here. But in the near future, you've made your choice. Someone's not very happy about it. And enter a King of Pentacles in reverse. So tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse. What is this? There's a little bit of drama. Um, I think I already said that. But that's what happens when, you know, more people people want your attention. You can't can't choose them all. Four of Swords. Three of Wands. You're just taking... Maybe there's four of them. Um, yeah. So the King of Pentacles was was also... This was clarifying the King of Pentacles. For a second, I had to think of what I wanted. So the King of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by this. So this third person has really thought a lot about this. But the King of Pentacles in reverse is kind of a selfish energy. So they want something new with you, though. I don't think you're interested in... No, the... the okay, let's see. Tell us about the Queen of... This person came out of, whoa, there, there's like a secret admirer. This King of Pentacles was a secret admirer. So I think this, when you, this King of Pentacles seen these other options or they heard, or I don't know who this King of Pentacles is, but they're a secret admirer of yours, Sag. So you got someone from the past coming back, but you also had somebody holding their feelings back from you or having their eye on you. You got a lot of people watching you. Oh, I cut on that again. A lot of people are talking about you. The High Priestess in Revert. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Um, you got a lot of people, a lot of people talking about you. Why is everyone talking about Saji? What you doing, Saj? So let's see if there's. Okay, what was that? King of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. So this King of Pentacles thinks that I don't know if it was the same person. I don't. I'm not feeling like it is, but for some of you, maybe it is for me to have that doubt. Um, it could be a third. It could be the same person, but they really don't think it was fair. You, you definitely blocked this person too. Um, or you've just put up really strong boundaries when it comes to this person, or you're completely blind to how this person sees you. There's so many different ways to read these three different cards. <laughs> but I keep trying to clarify this King of Pentacles, and they keep kind of keeping it a little bit on the mysterious side. Like, so it's blind to me, and it's blind to you, Sag. So it's somebody that's really bound to you, though, um, and it's somebody that thinks that what happened wasn't fair. So it's somebody that you know. It's somebody that's like a secret admirer of yours. Um, and they're watching all these other people <laughs> and think they're getting a little jealous here. <laughs> so let's get a few Oracle messages. No, I just want to see if there's anything else I want to say. And then we'll get the Oracle messages and wheel of fortune. You got a lot. Oh, and the ace of swords. Like things are really going your favor as far as options and love go. The ace of swords is all, but you've met the people are going to get left out in the cold. I feel like this is you. You're very nurturing, very caring, very loving. A lot of people have just got their eye on you. Um, I mean, it's not a bad thing, <laughs> but things are going to get torn in your favor. So this is based, I consider this card a Sag, right? It's card of, of um, Jupiter, but it's card of luck. So you got, luck is on your side right now. Karma's on your side, right? You got a lot of people here. And I think that they're good options. Let's get a caring, okay. Ooh, all right. Let's see what these characters want to say. So let's talk about the, the, the wands, the fire sign. The fire sign could say something to Sag. Oh, that's why I identify them, but you take them how they are. <laughs> you get a fire anywhere in their chart. What does the fire sign want to say to Sag? That they're not saying. That they wish they could say. So many things remind me of you. So that's the fire sign. That's what they want to say. We already know that because they're out up in their emotions. So this water sign. What is this water? Well, <laughs> what does the water sign want to say? The sad that they could. What are they hiding? What do they want to say? We will be together again. So none of these are... I don't think they're new people, Sag. Like, I... We will be together again. And then this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, what does he want to say? I say he, but, you know. The timing just wasn't right for us. That's what he said. Now they think that the timing is right. I think it's because they see all these other options for you. So you got three people coming in here. Or they're already coming in. Let's see what the Caring Connections want to say. What messages do you have for Sag? What message do you have for Sag? Boundaries. <laughs> Having sensible boundaries is important. Commitment is an important factor to, to, to sorry, <laughs> to a successful relationship. So you're trying to create, you're trying to figure out who to create those boundaries against and who to commit to. Very interesting that that those are literally the cards that came out. So some of these people you're about to block um, in many ways. <laughs> um, forget what I mean. All right. So what does Sag need to surrender to in this decision? Surrender to complete healing. 
open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay. And what is the energy oracle message you have for Sag? What do you want to say? What message you got? Sword of value in reverse, card number 31. Oh, all tied up. There's that card again. It's like the eight of swords, basically. Healer of the ages again. Sixth chakra. Woo. So it looks like you do have a little bit of healing to do, or you're just coming to the end of that, and you've really been focusing on your healing, which is what's attracting all of this abundance and options into your life. You know your value, and you haven't settled. Your intuition is what's going to have to guide you here, Sag. So this is the card of intuition. So it's letting you know that Archangel Metatron is watching you. Your angels are guiding over you. You have some choices here, but that's your destiny. That's your karma. Um, it's because you did your healing. <laughs> healed people bring in great options so some of these people um with the yeah like yeah you're gonna be a little anxious <laughs> There's, i can go on and on but anyway um some of these people are gonna be pretty upset with your decision because i do feel like they're good options and i feel like you're really gonna struggle with that so let's see what advice they want to give to you about making this choice or what do you want to say to sad before we get their final or their potential outcome anything else you want to say besides trust your intuition justice Four of Swords in, well, it's not in reverse, what I'm talking about. Four of Pentacles and the Hierophants in reverse. <clears throat> and the Six of Cups. One of these people is definitely your soulmate, is definitely a strong soul connection, could have had a past light relationship with even. You will get your justice. Like I said, this is your karma. This is going to work out perfectly for you. Fours are all about stability. Um, but the, the interesting part is, I feel like you're going to have to take the time to make this decision, but it's also saying we're... we're <clears throat> What I'm hearing, sorry, my throat chakra's up. My, <clears> throat> I need some water. What I'm hearing is release the past too. Whatever the history was, especially, I feel like all three, don't focus on then, focus on now. Um, you're going to have to do things a little differently than you have in the past. The Hierophant in reverse, and this could also mean the one that you choose will not be kind of the standard type you go for. If you go for like, I don't know, usually, I don't know. It'll be different than your normal type. If you usually go for blondes, this might be a redhead. You might be going after a ginger today. But whatever it is, it's different than what you normally go. And you're going to have to do things a little bit differently in order to make this choice. But they're saying release that past. You know, part of this healing is healing what happened with them. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. Whatever that is for you, don't hold on to that. Because you you have a tough choice here to make. And I do feel like one of these is your soulmate. So let's see what's, where you are in a month from now. So talk to us. One month from now. Let's get the potential outcome here for Sag. Where are they? I say potential because there's always free will and I say outcome, but I say a month. And where are you with these options still here? Do you choose one of the options? Who does you choose? Is there another one that comes flying in to talk to us? Where's Sag in a month? From not. Oh, heard, hold on. So we have the Page of Pentacles, aka the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. The World in reverse. Ooh, we have another Page in reverse. The Princess of Wands in reverse. So there's the Earth sign and the Fire sign. A little unhappy. They got something to say. So maybe chose the Water sign. <laughs> Where's the water sign? <laughs> How's the water sign doing? <laughs> Are they just chilling? They chill like a villain. The four of wands. Yeah, you. Uh, I like five. The five of wands. And on the bottom of the deck is the magician. I do feel like you chose the water sign. Or it could just be the one that was sensitive. So the page of pentacles is upside down. So that earth sign's a little pissed off. Again, the page of, pentacle, page of wands is upside down. So that <laughs> fire sign's a little pissed off. They're not happy. They got unfinished business they're not things did not go their way but things went really well for you you're happy you're balanced you chose your soulmate you chose your 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 some of you some people look at this as the twin flame but the person you got your king of wands baby <laughs> the, you got like i feel like this is you in this reading because all these people are attracted to you but you manifested your ideal partner here so i do believe it's the water sign um you feel like they balance you they match you they they can keep up with you also i'm hearing in my mind so maybe you're like you just got a lot of energy or you just got a lot of passion. We're Sagis. <laughs> We're like little energizer bunnies. So the competition's gone. Five of Wands in reverse. So in a month from now, Sag, you have made your choice. Um, if that wasn't clear. From <laughs> but they're not so happy. You and the water sign doing pretty good. Um, so let's see if there's anything else they want to say before we close this off. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, Sag, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. It helps my channel to grow. It helps others to get the message. It looks like you have a lot of activity in your live life coming up. You got some choices, baby. Whoa, judgment. <laughs> this is your karma. Ace of Pentacles. 
the new beginning that you want is here with unlimited potential. I do feel like, you know, some of the, well, not some of them in the Rider Waits, they're like the angels there and they're like, oh, it's like success in the judgment card, right? It's like success. You finally have what it is that you've been waiting for. It has arrived. Your king or queen has arrived, depending who you are out there. So let's get you your final message, Sag. I'm happy for you. But this person is your destiny, <laughs> which is kind of cheesy, but so many of these soulmate cards come out. So if you believe in soulmates and twin flames and you're on that journey, then definitely this person is a strong connection to you. Let's get your final message. What do you want to say, Sag? Cheers, please. All right, we got self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lies, but the people you hold dear must come first. Recite these words in your heart. I'm worthy of all the good things in my life. And while you eat lunch, take a few minutes to sit quietly outside and listen to the nature around you. So Saj, thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck. Have fun. Until next time.